Across industries, intelligent experiences are reshaping how people connect. A doctor hears a patient's heartbeat through a smart monitor. A bank verifies identity by voice alone. AI co-pilots summarize every call, every conversation, every moment. The question for telcos is simple. Will you be part of the flow or just the data pipe underneath it? Voice communications is overdue for a revisit by service providers and others in the telecoms world. Uh, I think that both consumer and enterprise voice are going to be reinvigorated by AI, uh, as well as uh, new device categories, uh, cloud, and a range of other factors. What is the big revenue driving opportunity en masse for carriers that you see coming up? The voice is still a, a major modality in the way in which we communicate. So when we hear folks say, hey, voice is not strategic for us or voice is a declining business, we can point to stats that there are other areas of applications or communication services that include voice as one of the modalities that are growing at, unreal, at an unreal pace that they're really missing out on. For years, voice was taken for granted, a utility, not an experience. But in the AI era, voice is data, emotion, context and insight. It's the richest channel of human communication and telcos own it. From life-saving moments to daily convenience, AI is bringing intelligence to every conversation. Imagine this. Somebody is in a challenging domestic situation and they're maybe hiding in a closet and they call emergency services because they need help, but they can't talk. But their breathing patterns are representative of somebody in very high stress. So in the regular use case, you know, the, the emergency operator gets that call and there's like nobody on the other line and we're like, okay, well, maybe we'll send somebody to the, to the apartment or maybe not. We can have AI monitoring that call and saying, oh my gosh, this is, there's somebody there, they're on the line, they're represented with these high stress breathing patterns, send, some, send police immediately to that location. A really important thing to think about with voice is that it's more than just old folks. It's a whole spectrum of voice communications, interactions, conversations, potentially transactions as well. And you could have all manner of additional capabilities and features embedded into voice applications if you understand what voice really is. Telcos don't have to be spectators in the age of AI. They can lead by weaving intelligence directly into the conversations they already carry. We've been able to combine voice capability with kind of the AI, AI agent, the way that the capabilities that they bring means that we can help our um, customers to truly grow. We can help make them more efficient. We can um, give them better capabilities to run their businesses. And you know, then we can watch them grow and become more successful. AI and voice is a really interesting combination and there are multiple touch points. You could potentially put AI agents into the call path between different people. You can obviously have AI driven chatbots, but beyond that, you can have AI that's a trigger for a call or some other voice interaction. Uh, you even have uh, AI generated podcasts, which I would classify as a form of voice communication. Voice is no longer just a signal, it's a source of understanding. The network isn't just connecting people, it's learning from them. And for telcos, that means a second chance. To innovate, to lead, and to be part of the intelligence shaping every conversation. This is the voice renaissance, the most human technology reborn as the most intelligent.